Welcome to Speak English Podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Today, I will talk about Coca Cola. And with a mini story, you will improve your fluency while learning some fun facts about Coca Cola. Do you like Coca Cola? I used to drink plenty of Coke when I was younger, but I try to drink more water nowadays. However, I admit that Coca Cola is the perfect drink to complement my popcorn at the cinema. And the good news is that if you want a healthier version, you can choose the sugar free and even caffeine free Coke. But when and how was Coca Cola invented? In 1886, John Pemberton, a pharmacist from Georgia, invented a new kind of syrup. The drink was first sold as a nerve tonic that relieves exhaustion, but it wasn't very successful. Therefore, He sold his secret formula to another pharmacist, Isa Griggs Candler. Candler was actually the one who invented Coca Cola, as he mixed Pemberton syrup with soda. He started selling Coca Cola in several drugstores and advertised his new drink, and soon people were going to the drugstores. Just to get a drink of Coca Cola. Before long, the drink became very popular, and a couple of entrepreneurs wanted to sell it in bottles. So Candler sold them a license to bottle the drink, and soon the men were millionaires. Did you know that the Coca Cola bottle? Is the most recognizable object in the world? The famous Coca Cola bottle is more than 100 years old. Although the drink doesn't contain any cocoa, the famous bottle was originally shaped like a cocoa bean. Its unusual shape initially helped Coca Cola stand out. From its competitors. Nowadays, hundreds of millions of people can recognize a Coca Cola bottle by its shape. Also, the well known Coca Cola logo is the most famous in the world, perhaps because it hasn't changed in more than 100 years. The company still uses the script logo. That Frank Robinson crafted in 1891. Coca Cola became popular in Europe during the First World War. American soldiers in Europe started asking for Coca Cola, so the company started exporting it. And soon the drink was also being bottled in Europe. Today, Coca Cola is produced in countries worldwide, and is undoubtedly the most popular drink in the world. When it comes to the famous formula, it is probably the most valuable secret in the world. The exact ingredients used to make Coca Cola are known to only a handful of people. And since Christmas is coming up, I wanted to answer a very common question about Santa and Coca Cola. Did you know that many people think that the Coca Cola company invented Santa Claus? Actually, I will talk in more detail about Father Christmas in a future episode, but I can assure you. That Coca Cola did not invent Father Christmas. The company began using Santa Claus in its advertising in the 1920s. However, Santa's story dates back 
to the third century. That's all about Coca Cola and Santa for today. Let's continue with a mini story. What's a mini story? A mini story is very simple. I give you information using phrases, and then I ask you questions. After each question, there will be some seconds of silence. It's your turn to answer the question. Just try to give an easy and short answer, not a complex one. After you answer, I'll give you the correct answer. And just like that, I will tell you a story with questions and answers. Are you ready? More than 10,000 Coca Cola soft drinks are consumed per second. How many drinks are consumed per second? 500? No, no, not 500. More than 10,000. Coca Cola soft drinks are consumed per second. Coca Cola or Pepsi? Coca Cola. I'm talking about Coca Cola. Is Coca Cola an alcoholic drink? No, no. Coca Cola is a soft drink. During the early days, Coca Cola had some cocaine in it. Did Coca Cola have some cocoa in it? No, no. Coca Cola. Didn't have any cocoa in it, but it did have some cocaine in it. When did Coca Cola have some cocaine in it? In the early days, Coca Cola had some cocaine in it. In the early days. Does Coca Cola have any caffeine in it nowadays? Yes, nowadays, Coca Cola has some caffeine in it. So Coca Cola has some cocaine in it nowadays. No, no, not cocaine. Coca Cola has some caffeine in it, but not cocaine. It used to have some cocaine in it in the early days. Coca Cola was the first ever Olympic sponsor. Was Coca Cola the first ever Formula One sponsor? No, no. Coca Cola was the first ever Olympic sponsor. Was Coca Cola the second ever Olympic sponsor? No, no. Coca Cola was the first ever Olympic sponsor. Coke. Was the first soda in space? It came in new cans with special lids to avoid any danger of explosion for the crew. Was Coke the first soda in space? Yes, in 1985, Coke became the first soda. Consume in outer space. Did the soda come 
in new cans or in glass bottles. Not in glass bottles. The soda came in new cans. Did the new cans have a special lid? Yes, the new cans had a special lid to avoid any danger of explosion. Coca-Cola tried to replace coffee. In the 80s, Coca-Cola started using the slogan all the sugar and twice the caffeine. Did Coca-Cola try to replace chocolate? No, no. Coca-Cola didn't try to replace chocolate. What did the company try to replace? Coffee. In the 80s, the company tried to replace coffee. Did Coca-Cola use the slogan all the sugar and twice the caffeine? Yes, Coca-Cola tried to replace coffee and used the slogan all the sugar and twice the caffeine. Perfect! It's the end of this mini-story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech just like in a real conversation. It is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you to take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, we have reached the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.